Hi, I'm Alex Koloskov, your FortiG instructor. And today I'm bringing new challenge, new challenge to your life. And uh, this is new challenge for our interactive program called Studio Basics for all members uh, of uh, this program. Basically, uh, the whole idea of the program is to uh, get into help photographers to get, get into commercial uh, studio photography product, uh, liquid, uh, jewelry, all kind of photo, uh, type of commercial photography, prepare them uh, for to work with clients to make money uh, in uh, studio photography. This kind of first step. We have a pro club, uh, but it's a little bit different. It's for professionals. So studio basics. Challenge is this, black on black black cat in a black room, black subject on a black background. It's not my idea. Thank you uh, for those of you who brought this idea uh, to me in private or posted uh, on the forums. Uh, we already did white on white, and this is an opposite. This is an opposite to white on white. So let me tell you what it is, what uh, this challenge is about. Like I said, opposite to white and white. You remember how it was in white? It should be all nice. Uh, the whole thing should be visible. I mean, the subject, uh, we highlighting everything. Uh, there is no deep shadows. And it's on a beautiful white background. On a black, when the subject is black, it's on a black background. The worst thing to do is to highlight it. So we see everything. The whole subject is like a catalog shot, and it's just popping up from completely black background, like, like a white hole. We shouldn't do this. The whole idea is to learn how to approach that kind of photography when there is very little light. Not by amount of light, but amount of reflected light to the camera. It's all about creating specific mood, specific emotion, for the viewer of this image. So we shouldn't highlight everything. We should get some accents on our subject. It can be product, it can be anything. We don't care what kind of subject. It should be dark. It should be kind of relatively dark, okay? This is one uh, requirement and the background should be dark. How we do this? Again, this is not relevant. You can do it with uh, just one light, uh, let's say light painting with your uh, flashlight. Not a problem. You can do multiple shots uh, with some uh, strobe light, or you can use multiple strobes. We completely don't care if you do most of your work in Photoshop composing the image, or you'll get a uh, uh, you know, shot uh, from the camera. It's up to you. But the whole idea is to get it right, black on black. How we create the emotion? What kind of emotion uh, comes out from this challenge? The emotion is a mystery. It's kind of when you see what it is, you see the subject, you recognize it, but you don't see all the details, and uh, you know, your brain starts putting those details you know, from your imagination. That's how you know, all the mystery works. It tells you a little bit, and the rest you kind of tell in the story by yourself. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, this is what we're going to learn in this challenge, how to highlight the subject so we can recognize. We see the features of uh, if it's a product, let's say, but we still uh, live in lots of uh, dark areas where it's not much visible. Okay? I'll be doing this tutorial, five-minute tutorial from you uh, with uh, the setup similar to any uh, live uh, workshop, the 40 July workshop. Uh, one camera is on top. One camera is here, and you will see the tethered uh, screen that I uh, shoot from uh, camera to a laptop, okay? Talking about the camera lens, again, it's up to you. It doesn't matter how to set exposure. Again, I, it's your task to understand how to you know, set exposure because you may use continuous lights, you may use uh, strobe. It's all different, and I'm not going to talk about this because we have uh, all these tutorials on uh, Studio Basics program, okay, on Studio Basics library. There are tutorials about setting the camera for continuous, setting for strobes, uh, shooting tethered, all that kind of things. So I'm switching to, to this screen, multiple screen. You see what is on top. You see me and you see 
uh, the Focus software that I use for tethered shooting. Okay, uh, let's do this. We have, we have the camera. On the background, what I used, I used black glass, mineral glass. Uh, again, on Studio Basic, there are a few tutorials and uh, webinars about uh, gear for studio photography. You can find it's IKEA black glass. What the beautiful thing about anything like a glass or a mirror, that it can be really dark. It's darker than any dark but matte subject. Because if subject has a texture, if your background has a texture, you put a little bit too much light on it and you will see it. It won't be black. When you shoot the mirror, mirror can be completely black because it's not going to pick up your light unless it falls into that law of reflection so you see the light through the mirror. If your mirror is seeing something dark, not highlighted, you can put thousands of watts pointed to your mirror, but you will see completely black mirror if it reflects something dark all the way you know, outside that highlighted zone. Right? So mirror is probably the darkest thing in this earth. The second darker thing is a black hole, but it's in the sky. We don't have black hole here. Okay, this is our table, black glossy plexiglass. I have this black screen, but it's not visible in the camera at all. My camera at the angle that it covers, the frame is completely covered by the table. Okay, you get it. This is my frame. This is not visible on the frame at all. Why we need it? I want dark reflection because we have some spills on a white wall there. We may have some spills, so I don't want to risk. We just want to black light. And this black background, it's just a foam core board, will be reflected over here, right? The law of reflection. Camera is here. What it will see here on the table? This, okay? This is what's going to be reflected on our mirror. And I have some nice black subject. Of course, what the darkest thing photographer can think about? It's a camera, of course, and uh, the best camera to shoot, it's a new camera. I just got this uh, Sony A7R2, uh, beautiful camera, and uh, it sits there, uh, poison for me. By the way, those of you who've been telling me on that video that I posted when I talk about uh, why DSLR is dead and, you know, you were telling me that I was paid by Sony and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. Blah, 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 like, uh, it's not all real. Guys, this is your world, I understand. My world is different. I don't do things for money. I do things that I love for money. So if I love Sony, I will tell you and I will translate this love. That's what I told you on the video, okay? And I actually love Canon and Nikon. I just want to uh, be all this camera, cameras, available for us and uh, be competitive. So, I just love Sony, okay? It's not about somebody paying me for this. Anyway, Sony is there. One light source, uh, let's say you don't see anything except that one. This one is off. You can turn it off and it's not visible. Let's shoot. And something appears on our black screen. You see there is nothing except some pieces of the camera, okay? You see some edges, right? You see some reflection. It's not, not enough for you to see the whole camera yet. So, but the idea is kind of coming this way. We're not highlighting it completely. We're highlighting edges. You know, all the rim light, edge light, um, small, non-diffused light may be a really cool choice for this assignment. Oh, not assignment, the challenge uh, to be used. So one light, if we add one more light here, no, before you add, we need to turn it on, of course. Okay. Now with two lights, this light is coming. You see what happens, right? It highlights the camera. Now we see that, hey, this is camera, and you can see the Sony. And uh, we see the lens, we see some reflections, but still there are many things that is not highlighted. It's dark. And of course, the background is completely dark. Again, if I would shoot it on a black paper, for example, it will be visible, but I'm shooting it on a mirror. And actually, it could be not a black glass, but just a mirror. Would be exactly the same thing. 
if your background behind will be dark enough. So, this is what happens. This is what you need to do. Think about using, always using the light that it will not highlight too much. This is maybe just too less because we don't see the lens, we don't see some sexy things. This is when we put it almost on front. Maybe a little bit too much because the lens is kind of, uh, it takes uh, away our attention, right? Because we have too much light. Somewhere here, okay, maybe just an example. Again, don't shoot cameras. You may, but this is not an assignment. You're not supposed to repeat my shot. You're supposed to go out of your comfort zone. Go somewhere where you don't know exactly what to do. Work on this and accomplish the challenge. This is only how it works, okay? You need to go outside of your comfort zone, outside of your zone of knowledge. Of knowledge. You should go outside. You need to bring some knowledge. What I'm showing this to you, it's too easy to repeat. Try to do something different, okay? So, you see deep shadows, but still highlights. We have uh, highlighted most of the things, uh, except uh, maybe uh, the label. It's actually a cool thing to have label highlighted as well. One of the things that we need to think how to do is to find area. By the way, this is what happens when we have too much light hitting the background, right? Like here. You don't see it probably, but it's become grayish because this light hits too much background, okay? So, this can be done this way. It can be done with one light only. Let me show you. It's just a different way to shoot it. Let's turn off all those lights. We don't need them anymore. Let's bring something else. If, let's say, we put this big diffuser on top and uh, put this beauty dish. Actually, it can be any, anything, not only beauty dish. Okay, and uh, we turn on this light, which was off, Oops. and do a shot. You see, something similar happens. We see Sony, we see some areas which may be really cool. We can actually increase a little bit. Our brightness, right? We can add, if needed, maybe a little bit of reflection. But with one light, basically, uh, we're getting something pretty similar. Black subject on a black background. By the way, this is a really cool thing. You may want to use it. One side is dark, glossy black. One side is white, foam core board. Okay. It highlights a little bit. It highlights edges. We see model, we see everything, we see controls, but still we see nice reflection actually. And still it's a mystery. Okay, this is emotion. So this is your next challenge. In, in a week, maybe a week and a half, as usual, we are going to review all the submissions. I'm going through all the images that you submit. Make sure that to include your lighting setup. Tell us how you shoot it. And uh, everyone welcome to discuss uh, uh, images uh, on that forum, on Studio Basics forum. And uh, I'm going to suggest you improvements uh, and, uh, well, do a review and critic, uh, what we called. Again, this is Studio Basics program. If you're thinking that maybe studio photography, commercial studio photography would be something that you want to try uh, or maybe you want to turn your business uh, into because maybe there are too much uh, uh, competition uh, in, let's say, events photography or wedding photography that you are currently working on, come to us because this is, we only do this type of thing. There is no other online education project providing feedback, critic, uh, providing interaction. 
and uh, it only works when you get in feedback from your uh, from the teacher that you learn from and we do provide it for you here in studio basics when you got and covered the basics you'll be offered to join our pro club this is where you'll be building a portfolio professional high quality portfolio and uh, uh, at the end, you will be represented to art buyers uh, around the world through different agencies. This is what we are working on right now. And, uh, well, interview with uh, Wonderful Machine uh, CEO is coming next week, so you can, uh, well, watch for announcements. i uh, just kind of show you a little bit roadmap. Okay? And, guys, this is a challenge. <laughs> Good luck to you and your photography. That was Alex Koloskov. And, hey! Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Yes, this is button. Because I'm going to test this guy, this Sony, in studio, outside the studio, with Metabones uh, and uh, Canon gear. You'll see it will be beautiful. That's few reviews already, uh, already uh, sitting there in the queue. Will be published soon, and uh, more other uh, cool things are coming. So see you soon. Bye.